Hey guys, Rage Vipers here, and welcome back to episode 9 of the Pyrus mod pack. So, today we're going to be preparing to go to the uh, Twilight Forest. Now, we did go there last episode, and I ended it in the Twilight Forest, so I just came back. Now, when I came through the portal, a light creeper did explode, so I had to uh, tidy that up. So, we've now got a bit more glowstone, well, more than a bit more, we've got quite a few stacks in our chest. And I think a snow creeper exploded near our little sugarcane farm. So now we've got a lot of ice in the ocean. But in the uh, time between episodes, I did also harvest some more tree sap from our, sh um, from our rubber farm. So now we've got more rubber again in case we need it. But what we're going to first try to do today is we're going to try to make ourselves a backpack. So I believe for a backpack, let's just search it up. Back, uh, that'll do. We want, I think it's, we'll go with that one. So, okay, it wasn't that one. Maybe it's this forestry. Yeah, I think it, yes, forestry. So, we want to make a forestry backpack. So, we need four string, two clay, two wool, and a chest. Now, I think we can maybe find some clay in the ocean, so we should be okay there. And we do have some wool and we can make a chest, so the only thing we need is a string. Now, I haven't seen many uh, spiders on this world, mainly because so many creepers spawn. But, if I remember right, if you mine cobwebs, then you do get string. And I think when we raided this goblin village, there were cobwebs in the roofs of the little buildings. So this is why I've come over here, just to get the uh, string. So hopefully I'm correct. Yes, I am. So we're just going to go through every little house and we're going to check for cobwebs in the roof. So I see another one here. So now we do have enough string, but I'll just check the rest of them in case we do need any more. I don't think there's any in there. Let's check around here. None in there. Is there any in this little house here? Oh yeah, I blocked it off. Nope, there's none in the roof. And I don't think there's any in there. No, right, okay, so we've just got enough. If the worst came to worst, we could always uh, take some of the string from the castle, because it does have some string coming out the chimney. Not string, some cobwebs, I should say, coming out the chimney. But I kind of don't want to destroy the castle a bit, so I'd uh, rather leave it how it is. But whilst we're near the castle, I think we should go talk to the... Um, I can't think, I think he's called the Traveller. Now, I'm not too sure what happens when we right click on him, but apparently it's best to sign up for something, so we're just gonna go find him. I believe he's this way on. So we'll just come through here, and he should be, there he is, so the Learn Traveller. So we'll right click on him. Uh, I am gravely lost, my kind, I survived the attack, but many of our villages burned down, there are still survivors left. Hurry and rescue them. Guildmaster, your quest has started. Find the village and save them. Okay, so if, if we find a village with them in, we'll bring them back to him. But I'm not going to go looking for them yet, maybe some other time. But if we do find a village with the people in, we can always bring them back now and he should hopefully reward us, I guess. I'm not sure. But, oh, what's that? I think that's mud, not clay. Yeah, it's mud, not clay. So, all we need to find now is some clay, which I think we should be able to find in the ocean. I think you usually get it around the gravel and sand near the bottom. So we'll just travel back to our house, and we'll get some clay, and then we can make ourselves a backpack. Now, the reason why I want to make a backpack is so that when we go mining in the Twilight Forest, my inventory doesn't get as uh, filled up quickly and I can uh, organize it more and I don't have to prioritize certain ores. And it is also useful just for being able to carry more things about. Ooh. So, oh, and uh, in between episodes I did also go to the castle and get some more bread because we're starting to run low. I didn't think you'd want to watch me just keep clicking on the guy for bread, it's a bit boring, but it gets us the food that we need. And I have also built this little dirt path and you see it's just grown there because I'm trying to get the grass to come and grow around here. So it's slow, slowly getting there. 
it'll eventually uh, grow to there hopefully so oh, so now we need to look for some clay so can we see any uh, hmm can I have I'll, I'll check that I've got clay water on I think I do have clay water on in Opt, uh, Optifine let's give it a quick check so video settings the details okay now that's just the normal uh, ch -ch -ch quality is it in clay okay yeah I've got clear water on so we should be able to see a bit better than normal but I still can't oh that's clear right there that's what we need so okay we've got what we need now so we can now create ourselves a backpack so we'll just come in here and I'll check the recipe again so build this backpack chest we need two pieces of wool there we go, and then we'll create ourselves a chest. So there we go, we got ourselves a chest, and then it was wool like that, I think, with two clay either side, and then the string in the corners. Yes, it was. So now, if we right click this, we've got a bit more storage. It's not huge, but it will help. So I will just put that in my inventory there, and I'll put that clay away. Now the next thing we're going to be trying to make is a diamond drill. Now this should be quicker than a uh, um, diamond pickaxe, but it isn't the easiest thing to. I can't. I can't type and speak at the same time. <laughs> Sorry. So I'll just type it in. So diamond drill. Now to make it, we need a normal mining drill. So we're going to need five six iron plates actually and power units so we're going to need to make three RE batteries so let's get our tin out do we have much tin yes we do thankfully we have enough tin still we'll get the redstone and what else do we need for it oh we need rubber I remember that and we best get our hammer and our cutters out because we need to flatten out some plates so if we need three batteries do we have any tin okay so we have some tin cables still so we'll just flatten out a tin ingot and then we will cut it up with the cutters oops I mean to take that out and there we go we've got the tin and we'll just put the rubber next to it to make it into cable oh, should have shift clicked and then I believe it is oh, I'll have to look at batteries I believe it's a uh, tin casing oops didn't mean to do that so uh, yeah tin I am casing so that means we need if it's so it's two tin per battery so we need six pieces of tin flattening out with the hammer and then we'll do it again and we've got some casings now we can do this and we'll just craft ourselves three batteries so up oh, there's our tin cable there we go we've got the three batteries that we need now what else do we need we best have a look back so we need two insulated copper wire, some iron casing, and an electric motor. So we're going to need some more tin casing there. So we'll flatten that out again. And there we go, we've got our tin casing. And then we'll get some iron out of the chest. And we will make... Oh, I've forgotten again. I, can't, I keep forgetting. So, oops, didn't want that. I wanted to make... So two iron case in there, and then we need co uh, coils. Okay, so two coils needs to be surrounded by quite a bit of copper. So let's get our copper out. I've oh, already got some copper plates there. We can cut them up first. So let's let's just cut all those up and see how many we can make. Oh, that's just enough for two copper coils. That's okay. So then two bits of iron there. And we've got ourselves two coils. Uh, what else? So we've got the coils, we've got enough for the tin, we've got the iron. So let's, sorry, so let's make the tin casing now. So tin, hammer it out twice, and there we go, we've got our tin casing. So was it, ah, oh, I can't remember it, I'll have to look back. I'm sorry if you're getting annoyed at me, I have to look back, but it's a bit difficult. So tin, tin, coil, iron. So, coil, coil, tin, tin, and then iron in the middle. 
And there we go, we got an electric motor. So now let's make the, we need two more uninsulated copper wire and some iron casing. So let's flatten out a piece of iron twice to get an iron casing. There we go, we got an iron casing and it was two copper wires. So we'll just flatten out this into a plate and then we will cut it up with the cutters again. And there we go, we've got two uh, uninsulated copper cable. So what do we need? What's the last thing we need? I think it's an electronic circuit. So, oops, so an electronic circuit. Does that need another battery? No, it doesn't. So it's six copper wire, an iron plate and two redstone. So we're gonna need another three copper flattening out and making into wire. And then we're gonna have to cut them up like this. And then we will put the rubber next to them and turn them into insulated copper wire. There we go. And then we need an iron plate flattening out to make the iron, uh, not iron circuit, the electric circuit. So there we go. And then we'll get our copper. We'll go like that. And there we go. We've got ourselves an electronic circuit. So now we can just craft the normal drill. So we will get the three batteries then the electronic motor. Was it tin or iron? I may have made two iron case, uh, tin casings that I don't need. Uh, and then it was the copper wires like that. Okay, I accidentally made tin casing that I didn't need. Oh well. So now we need to make oh, just enough. Well, not just enough, a nice amount there because we need five iron plates, I think it was. Oh no, it's six. Why did I make that mistake again? I'll check it is iron. Oops. Yeah, iron plate. So just flatten out another piece of iron into an iron plate. And there we go. We got now six iron plates. Why can I not? Oh, why did I do that? I just accidentally made another tin plate. That's not what I wanted to do. I mistook a uh, tin ingot for an iron ingot. Oh well. Uh, I'm sure we'll use it again at some point, and then we'll put the power unit there, and we've got ourselves a mining drill, and then we'll use our last three diamonds to turn it into a diamond mining drill. I think it was like this. Yes, there we go. So now all we need to do is charge up our best sleep because it's night time. Let's put it in there, and we'll come back once it's charged up. So the diamond drill should be quite a bit faster than a diamond pickaxe, but I'm not sure how much faster it'll be exactly. Right, so that's it charged up. So we can now come over here and give it a test. So this is with the diamond drill, and then I'll show you an example with the diamond pickaxe. Okay, it doesn't seem too much faster, but we do charge it up and it has an unlimited durability, I think. And we can enchant it to make it even faster if we wanted. So I'd say that's pretty good. So now we don't have to worry about using any of our diamonds on a pickaxe, but we did usually get them from the guild anyway using our gold coins, but it doesn't matter. I'll just quickly mine up this coal. And then I think that's going to be it for the episode. We've uh, prepared quite nicely for the Twilight Forest. We might have to make ourselves a gun next episode before we go in because it can be hostile at times in there. But anyway guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe, subscribe for more content like this, I should say. And I'll see you another time. So bye.